Hello everyone. Uh, I hope you all are doing great. In today's tutorial, I am going to share eyeball detection in MATLAB. Uh, you can check this complete post and can download uh, this uh, simulation in MATLAB by clicking the link given in the description of this video. And uh, now when you click on that link, you will get to this blog post eyeball detection in MATLAB. So uh, from here you can buy this product uh, and when you click this link, you will get to the product page and you can buy this product by PayPal. Okay, and the uh, procedure is quite simple. You have to add it to cart and then you need to buy it and uh, pay via PayPal. Once you buy the product, the link to download the file will be given to you immediately. Okay, now coming back to our post. So, uh, in this project, uh, I have designed a GUI in MATLAB and uh, we have worked quite hard while designing this project. So, that's why we have placed a small amount. Of fifty dollars, uh, and uh, if you are having uh, any difficulty in buying this project, then you can uh, also ask in comments, and we will surely help you out. Uh, this algorithm has a small restriction uh, that the person's eye must be open in the image, and his or her eyeball must be clearly visible. Otherwise, this algo won't work on it. Okay. So I have added 10 images in the database which will help you in understanding the main algorithm and uh, uh, yeah one more thing uh, it will not uh, detect the eyeball from a live video it will detect the eyeball from image and the image can be any dot uh, jpg or dot png okay so once you buy this project uh, and get the download uh, folder you will get a folder like this uh, it's a eye, eye detection MATLAB the folder name and in that folder you will find all these files I have added these images in it and uh, so I have used circle hoof algorithm in order to design my this uh, project okay so now I'm gonna open my MATLAB and I'm gonna open the file which is named as main gui.m so when you open this file here it's already open in my browser uh, uh, in my MATLAB so now I'm gonna run this file and it will give me this GUI and here I need to browse to the image so for example I wanna use this image image number one and I'm gonna load image and the system has gone busy you can see here the system is busy right now and now it has started getting the images first of all in the first image it has detected the eye part and uh, then it has in this eye part uh, it has i have cropped this this area and shown it in another image then after that in the third image which is this one in third image i have converted my image to grayscale and in this grayscale image i have further cut it down my image to half and uh, i have cropped this single eye from this image and shown it in this figure number 4 here in this figure number 4 I have uh, converted it into binary image here and uh, then I in this binary image I have applied some filters to thicken it out and then I have inverted the image uh, the portion which was black in the above image is now white in the lower image and I have also applied some filters to make this area thick and you can see here and here we have area is black so now we are still waiting for our next image and here where it applies the Hoffman theorem and uh, detected the this circular area and ignores all the other area here so right now it's applying it's busy 
and I think it has given us no it hasn't yet These are the coordinates BB, which are the coordinates of this blue shaded area. Yeah, and I must tell you that your um, system must be a powerful one in order to run this code because it will take quite a long time on slower computers. Uh, right now, I am using Core i7 with uh, NVIDIA graphics card, but still it's taking so much time. And here are next two images so and you can see where after we got this circular area i have applied the uh, hoofman theorem and it has converted into it has detected the circular region and in on this circular region i have plotted a circle and then i have also plotted this circle on the main image so if we if we go into the logic uh, once I got the uh, coordinates of this circle, then I can plot it on the same region here because if you remember, this is the part of the, uh, this last, second last image is part of this first image. You got it? So, it has applied to both these images. So, what coordinates of this circle on this very last image are the same as this on front image, okay? So we have uh, added this circle here and uh, that's all uh, and yeah it is also given us uh, the area of this eyeball. So area of this eyeball is 7058 and uh, 53 and it's in pixel 7053 pixel. So thanks for watching and buy our product. Uh, if you have any problem in uh, using this code then you can ask in the comments here you can ask in the comments down below okay thanks for watching take care bye bye